everyone, Reefer Gill here. Probably one of the most disappointing pieces of equipment that I've purchased for the system is this display tank stand. And the reason I'm so disappointing with it, disappointed with it is because these doors are so small and it gives me very little room to work inside the system itself. You can see that these doors, the size of these doors, once open, how little room I have to get into the system. The opening is very small. And when I want to do uh, major maintenance to the sump, it can get very difficult to do so. So what I'm going to do is have a friend come over and we are going to actually widen the front of the stand so that I can place larger doors in the system and make things a lot easier for myself. So this is what the tank stand looks like right now. And we'll come back and see what it looks like after and I'll explain what we did. Another broken one? Yeah. Broke the blade. The spark made me nervous. That's just happens when you hit glass. <laughs> it's actually acrylic, so it'd have been a flame. Broke again. All right, here's the final cut that we did. You can see the opening is much larger than before. It's gonna be a lot easier for me to get in there, remove what I need to remove, make adjustments to the system as needed without being crammed and slamming my head or elbows against the door frame. The cut itself is very jagged, but that's okay, because we're gonna what we're gonna do is put a frame around the actual cut and then install a door frame with the larger doors on top of that so you won't even see the uh, jagged cut here but uh, everything's great none of this was part of the main support for the display tank obviously we looked into that before doing any cutting the last thing we wanted to do is have this 75 gallon tank fall on top of us so we will have the frame made and then we will install the doors and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so the door and the frame have come back from the shop. It took um, a couple of hours to build it, if even that. Go ahead and show you the construction of the door frame itself. This is the inside part of the door frame and basically it's just pieces of wood that are attached to each other and then the door hinges are attached to the frame and then these are the doors nice and large basically what we've done is drilled some pilot holes in the door frame all the way all along the edges of the door frame and then the same pilot holes that will match up are on the tank stand here and then all the way down so the only thing left to do here is to paint the doors I'll go ahead and paint them hang them up and we'll see what it looks like the project is now complete I now have large doors for the stand here. The whole project took about three days to do and that included two days of spraying the doors black, letting it dry and then spraying it again. But you can see the doors are much larger now. It makes it easier for me to get in and out do the maintenance that I need to do underneath the stand. Also I have a project that is coming up that I have plans for in a later video. All the wires are disorganized right now but all that's going to be taken care of. Very happy with the way it came out. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Otherwise, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks.